The fact of this coincidence between the lunar cycle and the solar cycle at 19 years has been used in calendars around the world. The early Egyptian lunisolar calendar, the Chinese calendar, the Indian lunistellar calendar, the Babylonian calendar, and is still used today in the Jewish calendar and the Christian Easter calendar. Any lunisolar calendar that tracks both lunar months and solar years is going to fall in line with this natural 19-year cycle. The 19-year cycle is this great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the Quran says, Allah has made the sun and moon serviceable to humanity. It says the sun and the moon run in courses to an appointed term. And we see the sun and moon matching up extremely closely at 19 years. There is no reason to, to expect such an alignment in such a manageable length of time so that we would be able to notice the pattern of leap years repeat three to four times within a human lifetime. When we did the calculations in a previous video, we saw that the leap years were in the third, the fifth, the eighth, the 11th, the 14th, the 16th, and the 19th years. If we had continued on calculating, we would have seen that again, the leap months would have come in the third, the fifth, the eighth, the, the 11th, the 14th, the 16th, and the 19th, and so on, over and over for hundreds of years. Once you see that pattern, you can kind of depend on it for quite a while. There is only this tiny two hour gap in the 19 year alignment. That gap will not even add up to a day for about 220 years. And it won't affect the calendar for even longer than that. At some point, around 18 cycles of 19 years, there will have to be a small shift in the repeating pattern of leap years, which I will explain in one of the later videos. But in an observed calendar, such as Muhammad وسلم, left behind, that shift will take place naturally, which I will also explain. So it is a great mercy from Allah to have placed these celestial bodies in their courses in a way that helps us both to count the days of the month by watching the moon and track the progress of the seasons by following the sun and then to have brought the cycles of the sun and moon together at a point such that we can use a calendar that matches up these two cycles. It is a blessing. And then we see the Quran talk about this blessing, which we will look at in the next video.